Managing pain in the suffering, whether it is anxiety, conflict, relationship problems, stress management, fear, and anger, etc. We can include all these challenges in one word, the suffering. How do we manage that suffering or the pain? First step is the pre-assessment. We sit together and we understand. Second step, we help you, your mind to engage in those principles which will ultimately bring an end to the suffering. We understand, we observe together, we walk the path together without any hiding. So first step is the engagement in once the mind is engaged, then we educate the mind, not only through the principles, but through the guided practice that we change every week. So once the mind is educated, once you educate the mind about driving, the skills through a driver teacher, and you know the rules by passing the examination, now you empower yourself to drive. Third step is empowerment. So through these principles and the talks and the practices, we empower your mind and the intellect. What it means, anytime those challenges enters into your life, what do you do? You empower, you use that empowerment, you have the tools, you have the practices with you all the time. These are the three major steps that makes you a seeker on the path. And our master says, once we are a seeker, we have to take two more steps. An evol evolution of the mind. We, we evolve the mind. What is that evolution? We re help the mind to reach to a state where it thinks, speaks, and acts with the state of permanent peace and happiness coming from inside. And the fifth step is enlighten the mind. Oh, enlighten the mind. Enlightening the mind that our true nature is full of peace and happiness. So the entire journey helps you not only to manage the pain, reaching to the optimum level of well-being in your personal, professional and social life, but you awaken to the truth 